You'll still need a slaughter pan in order to keep your tavern stocked. But in a pinch, you can always drop some alternative meat into the grinder. <laughs> Rooms will only attract a certain number of minions before becoming full. In order to attract more, you will need to expand them. Nothing in this life is free, Underlord, and you'll regularly need to pay your minions for their hard work. Be sure to keep an eye on your reserves, for if you've not enough gold for their wages, they'll be swift to find gainful employment elsewhere. Fortunately, your minions will return some of their earnings by buying meals within your own tavern. What a delicious arrangement. Something evil stirs out there. Scouts! Go find what the hell's making all that racket! Rally your minions to defeat these scouts once they breach your dungeon. Let's keep Sarusimov in the dark a little while longer. You should try using the lightning and heal spells to assist your minions in combat. Tear you apart! <laughs> Taste my blood. <laughs> Lightning will call down a thunderous bolt of energy, damaging and stunning a single enemy. However, it can only be used within your own territory. The health of minions is represented by petals surrounding their unit shield. Once no petals remain, a creature will fall unconscious and soon die, unless returned to its lair to recover. They should be back by now. Ugh. Bar the doors! We wait for reinforcements. Look how easily your minions cut down these sappers. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Empire is woefully unprepared. To have your minions ignore rally flags and remain focused on their current objectives, you can assign them to the Peace Band. Once minions are rested, you can leave them to their work or force them to train by dropping them in a barracks. A cultist has entered your dungeon. 
The Empire's Templar is their core foot soldier. Dim-witted and pure battle fodder for an underlord, despite his training in the barracks. Stupid head mutant! If you don't want to do something, you could at least vocalize it, Underlord. In what ways left? One of your workers has reached level 4 and unlocked the blink ability, allowing it to teleport a short distance. At higher levels, they will unlock more abilities, allowing them to dash over large distances, and even teleport across the entire map. I appreciate a power nap as much as the next dark god, but could you finish the job? Really, isn't it?
If any of your minions fall in combat, your workers will attempt to rescue them and return them to their lair, where they may rest and recover. The enemy have breached the damn walls! Steal yourselves, lads! It's time to pay your minions, Underlord! The Empire's cowardly priestess supports her allies from a distance through her wholly misled beliefs in the goddess Kira. You'll often find her cowering in the archive and sanctuary. Me? 
is gone. Kira, I am extinguished. It seems almost charitable to put him out of his misery. A gnarling cannot satisfy its needs because it is rallied. Well done, Underlord. You're learning much faster this time. We've barely even started, and you already have a notch on your belt. Well done, Underlord. But there's no rest for the wicked. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusimov, I doubt they'll be as weakly defended. The Empire's cowardly priestess supports her allies from a distance through her wholly misled beliefs in the goddess Kira. You'll often find her cowering in the archive and sanctuary. You're making great progress, Underlord. You'll be back to your old self in no time. Our next target is the Citadel of the Intransigent Dotard, Lord Ophiland. He's a dim-witted sort, and he seems to like marching his troops into an early grave. I'd say it's time to learn about traps. Welcome to the Breach, Underlord. This stronghold was built into this chasm to safe keep one of the Empire's inhibitors. With its trained garrison, it's virtually impervious to attack. Fortunately for you, their commander, Lord O'Thieland, is a vacuous sort who will throw his troops at your dungeon without strategy or order. I can think of no better time for you to learn how to build defenses for your dungeon. But to do this, you'll first need a foundry. Open the veins of evil and unlock it now! <laughs> you have discovered a gateway. Unlock the foundry within the veins of evil. Foundry unlocked. Build one now and your minions will be happy to create defenses for your dungeon. To plan your dungeon, why not use the Prophecy Spell to clear the fog of war and scout the surrounding terrain?
A Chanda has entered your dungeon. You've discovered a perception shrine. A chanda has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the foundry, this gassy creature will joyfully launch the fetid contents of its stomach to attack. Your other minions would do well to stay a few steps back. Your minions' needs are not being met, Underlord. Build them the basic rooms they require. You've claimed the Perception Shrine. You'll need an archive and cultists in order to research that artifact. The tavern is an essential room for keeping your minions fed. As they increase in level, they will eventually rebel if there is no tavern to sate their hunger. A cultist has entered your dungeon. You've claimed the Perception Shrine. You've discovered a Gold Shrine. Ah, more nightmares about those Daquias and Shaylees. Sorry to betray the gnome. Too much video. The Ed Balloon Tower. To a secret in Shaylo and in Terra. Blade Lotus unlocked. Ater Naster, Quies and Shaylees, Sonic Betrayed and Elm Tomb, Amphinia Fingham Tomb, The Ed Voluntas, to a secret in Shalo and the Terra. Claimed a gold shrine. 